What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to talk about Final Destination here today. Never talked about it on this channel before, I don't think. Final Destination 6, to be exact. So we learned a couple of days ago that uh, John Watts, who is known for his time on the Spider-Man No Way Home, or just Spider-Man Far From Home, No Way Home series, whatever you want to call it, the MCU Spider-Man series, that he is signed on to Final Destination 6 as a producer for New Line Cinema, partnering with uh, the other people who have brought the other films to life in the past as well or some producers from the past that have worked on the franchise and this news came again a couple days ago from variety the film is headed straight to hbo max apparently and it's going to be uh based on a treatment that watts actually did which has a lot of people excited that are fans and know his creativity is very uh it's something that we all should be invested in as far as like what he's done in the spider-man no way home series so here's something for variety it says that laurie evans taylor and guy Busick, who again is one of the screenwriters are writing the screenplay based on the treatment by john watts the film again is set to debut on hbo max and then he made a comment about, uh, this is from John talking about him and his wife. Both Diane and I have been massive fans of Found Destination from the very beginning, Watts said in, in a statement. So to be able to have a, a hand in crafting new entry with the original team and New Line Cinema is going to be both fun and exciting. So going off of that, the Found Destination series is again one of my uh, favorites that I enjoyed growing up. Now I haven't been talking about this franchise a lot on this channel mostly because of the fact that it wasn't the franchise that i was wanting to talk about the most when i was starting off you guys i think have a idea of what the big three were based off the most of the videos i put out so as far as like this franchise growing up i would say if it wasn't saw it was found destination like those were the 2000s saw and then found destination saw of course more so whereas like with the 2010s i would say the domination amongst horror at that two at that time from two franchises was the conjuring universe and the conjuring films themselves and then the insidious films that came as well during that era i know we had more movies in the 2000s but i would say the two juggernauts in the 2000s was saw and uh this series here final destination we know it's known for its inventive creative openings with these premonitions that the characters have where they uh dodge death as a result because of them getting off or not enduring the events that were going to unfold if they stayed where they were currently sitting at and they end up cheating death. They all start dying one by one. We know Devin Sawa was in the original. And he did a great job. In, as of, I just realized this. Uh, I don't really talk a lot about Final Boys. But yes, Devin Sawa is a great Final Boy. <laughs> I would put him in there with Justin Long from Jeepers Creepers. Dewey Riley from Scream. Uh, Devin Sawa was a great Final Boy. And then it just gets more and more, of course, bonkers as the series progresses. With some of the things and the events that they have try to get creative with that they're unfolding we find out in the fifth film at the end that that's actually a prequel to the original there's just so many different things that have happened along the way but all of the movies are fun i'm not saying that any of them are the best pieces of film um to exist but the original i would say still holds up pretty well that sequel i know had a lot of people just fearing for their lives in regards to driving behind certain vehicles carrying certain things on the roads uh me personally i know i am also very cautious when i drive i'm i am thinking about final destination two at times many times throughout my uh years when i'm driving the franchise is just a lot of fun it has a lot of inventive kills so i can't wait to see what john watts has cooked up now as far as like of course him writing the treatment or him having a treatment that doesn't mean he's the writer of course because we know he's not the one pinning it that means he had an idea and then these two writers guy Busick and uh evelyn they're going to be or evelyn taylor they're going to be coming together and filling it all in giving you like the full in-depth idea with the characters and just how it all will play out what they could explore this time around i do not know because i know the last one was with a bridge collapsing um you know i would i was thinking about like an escape room but then that's too much like what the series we already have with escape rooms i just don't i don't know what they could do this time i would like to know what you guys think they could do in the in the comment section below what you would like to see from john watts because we've seen if you're a fan of the spider-man series the mcu series anyway we we have seen that he has a creative style to him so i would like to see what his treatment in told uh, of course prior to them fleshing it out and maybe even get an idea of what he would have done if he had a chance to be a little bit more hands hands on with it in terms of just him actually being the one to flesh it out completely etc but the fact that he's on as a producer and the treatment is coming by coming from him everyone who has seen the uh, spider-man films from him knows that he is very creative he has a very inventive mind with the things he has been able to accomplish with 
the stuff we see in those movies so it's going to be nice to see what he wants to bring to the table with the final destination franchise and it's also not too far-fetched to believe that he is indeed a big fan of these movies again given what i've seen from him i just wish that whatever they come up with as far as like where this goes is something that is unheard of it's something that maybe is switching up things a bit and not completely just rehashing what we've already gotten before uh subverting our expectations you know just doing something that keeps it fresh because i don't see the final destination series being back in full effect just from one movie but i guess depending on the reception that it gets and how we the fans and um die hard final destination fans respond to it maybe we'll get more movies along the way because this franchise has been dormant since 2011 i was certain that there at one point like in 2019 i believe there was talks about the saw writers even being involved which again going back to the beginning of the video i talked to you about how saw and final destination were essentially the two juggernauts of the 2000s as far as i'm concerned now if i'm missing something and forgetting something let me know but i'm pretty sure that it was saw and final destination that dominated the 2000s and then the saw writers were at one point scheduled to pin a script for a final destination six but of course that's not happening i guess that idea was scrapped whatever they came up with if they even got completed but movie is set to come out on hbo max there's no word on when it's coming out yet i don't think that article included anything like that i'll inc i'll include a link to that article in the description we don't know when it's coming out but it's going to hbo max no news on who is in the cast if anything like that if you want to see some cool cameos maybe bring some characters back from the past or some actors back from the past but i think for the most part all of them have died if i'm not mistaken i think pretty much all of them are dead so you can't really i mean you can still bring them back and have like cameos in some other way but they won't wouldn't be alive i'm interested to see what they have to bring to the table in terms of this opening sequence that involves the character surviving it and how that plays out going into them of course trying to avoid death maybe even tony todd gives us a cameo i forgot about him tony todd is someone who could give us another cameo because he was in final destination 5 as well uh that's actually how i became interested in, in looking at the Candyman movie by seeing him in this film so we'll see what happens with final destination 6 but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you're excited or not if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there is any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video